tuning to the channel, man. We got footage every day, man. Burt life season. Let's go. What's happening, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Bond, underscore 34SRT, man. I'm just going live with you one time for the one time, man. So what we got going on, man, as y'all see, I am on that interstate, on the highway, getting it in. Um, it's about two-hour drive to Jay Stroker's shop. Instagram, Jay Stroker. Um, he basically race, uh, you know, street cars, you know what I mean? So, uh... I know you heard of Dunk Master, Two Fly, all them, uh, Playboy Jeezy out of Chicago, um, Team Silent Killing, well, Jay Stroker in there too. So he got a G body. Uh, I want to say, what is it? I think it's a Regal. Is it a Regal? Nope, take that back. It's a Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. It's crazy. You got Rose Gold, Rucci. Uh, I want to say they 24s on there. And uh, he's got an exhaust pipe exit. Uh, it's a turbo car. Um, long story short, I want to get into the dunk world, so he got a motor for me. So, um, as y'all know, I'm building the 73 Caprice. I haven't been posting lately because it ain't really been a process yet. Um, really been waiting on wheels. Been hard to find a 28 by 12 because I sold the 26s with the 7 inch lip. I wanted the 28s. Um, I wanted 28s originally. Everybody's like, it's hard to put 28s on the 73 and keep the light trim. Now that I've seen it's done, I'm like, man, money can make anything move. You know what I'm saying? From custom fabrication, whatever I got to do. So, long story short, I sold the sixes because I wanted eights in the first place. And I was like, you know what? Let me go eights. Armani let me design another wheel. So, I'm like, let's go eights again. Uh, well, let's go eights, you know, period, on the dunk. So, I wanted to do something different than regular eights. So, I wanted to do a 28 by 12, which give me a nine inch lip in the rear. Again, nine inch lip in the rear, 28 by 12. A lot of people say it can't be done on a convertible. Uh, Y'all know you too. When somebody tells me I can't do something, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try it. So that being said, um, been waiting on the money to find some barrels. Um, I know Coleon got barrels. Um, CJ on 32's got two cents, but he sold his In two miles, oh. take exit 43A on the left to merge onto I-95 North toward Washington. There we go. So, AJ, uh, CJ on 32's, like I was saying, uh, he got two sets. I called him the other day or messaged him the other day. He sold the other set. So, that being said, I can't find nobody else with a donor wheel that I can reach out to and try to pay or buy them off of them just to get the, you know, get the test fitting and get the cutting going. So once I get the cutting on the frame notched and uh, the rear end shortened and all that, you will start seeing the paint um, and the body work on the dump. Uh, it doesn't take King long. Uh, his crew is very good, paint by King. As y'all see, he did a 10 day challenge on the Magnum. Um, it, it's not perfect by any means, but it was incredible to take my car apart in 10 days with all the flaws I had to get it back to where she where she should have been, you know what I mean? Um, if he had probably like another five, seven days, it would have been flawless. Um, but everybody loved the car when they seen that Magnum uh, in person. Which shout Use out the left two lanes to take exit 43A on the left to merge onto I-95 North toward Washington. Sorry, y'all. Uh, my GPS want to talk. But long story short, I'm shooting from uh, Virginia. Shooting up from Virginia going all the way to Maryland. Uh, I'm not going to watch. Exit left. I'm not going to Washington, D.C. Um, I'm going on the outskirts. For 21 I'm... miles, continue straight. Yes, I know, I know. I'm tired of her, too. Um, she just talked because I came online with y'all YouTube. 34 game, my bad. Um, I only been to this shop once, so I got to use GPS. I really don't use GPS too often because I'm good at memory, but I only been to this shop one time and kind of calculate my time, how far out I am. Um, it's late on the road. Uh, it's probably about seven o'clock. So I'm trying to get there before nine. Uh, long story short, man, when I get there, we're going to drop this footage. We're going to see what kind of motor the 73 Caprice is uh, putting out. Uh, I want to get in the dunk racing world. I know you got to have at least a minimum of 800 horsepower. Uh, all the middleweights are around 1,000 and the heavy hitters are around 14, 1,500 area from what I'm hearing. Um, so hopefully we can see what kind of ballpark area where I'm at. I probably won't reveal how much horsepower I'm putting out, but just know I'm up there. I'm gonna be up there. We're gonna drop this bag and uh, 
get this process moving. So I appreciate y'all, 34 Gang. See y'all when we get there, man. Stay tuned. What's happening, YouTube? I'm back, man. I finally made it up here, man. I'm back. Man, he told me I gotta move to Lexus, so y'all know what that means. <laughs> one of these to be is got to be moving. What a I don't know which one you want. Well you got you got you got that one over there. Big 34. And y'all know about this. Y'all know about this one. Do y'all know really about this one? Oh, do you? Oh, big twins. 2020 twin. Hold on. 2020 twin. That bad boy so crazy. Two minutes really crazy. Man, let's jump straight into this. Blue smacking on. Forgy grill. Got the tubing done. Twins. Y'all might have seen this one on the internet. If you haven't, you definitely will. Pretty soon. What's happening, man? What's happening? We here. Finally. We here. <laughs> Take you 800 years to get down here, man. Look, we got progress going. We got blue tornado. ADE ready for it. So the ADE about to go in behind the motor. I ain't gonna say what the motor is, but it's about to go in behind the motor. Okay. Uh, heads, about to throw the heads on, throw the intake on that bad boy. And she got our first starting up, startup coming this week. First startup. First startup this week. Mm -hmm. And of course you just showed them that one. Yeah. We got that one in and I had some hiccups here and there. Did a couple couple things to it, nothing too much yet. I haven't really got a chance to put my spin on it yet, but we uh trimmed the fender liners back. Okay. Get more airflow in. We redid the uh catch can on it, so the catch can is actually a working PVC system now. Um the battery's coming out. I just got the relocation terminal for the battery, everything's going in the trunk. Uh got this turbo redone, rebuilt. It was a leak on internally, so it oh, wasn't actually snap. working whatsoever. So okay, uh, we got the car island running perfect, and it's crazy enough, man. With this car made on wastegate alone was crazy. It wasn't like a good crazy. Yeah, it, it was horrible. Horrible <laughs> so crazy for it what was, it has. For what it has in it, man. I ain't gonna lie, it shocked me and the tuner. So. We got our work ahead of us on this one now. We got a blueprint. This one gonna come out. This is gonna be a true, let me say that because a lot of people don't understand this. True thousand wheel horsepower car. True, true. true. A lot of people say they got it. True thousand wheel horsepower. <laughs> but it's gonna definitely have it sticking to them wheels. True thousand. 26s. SD, Forge. That's right. And she don't make, she don't make nowhere near a thousand right now, but I guarantee you, you come around this one the wrong way, it's gonna crack your ass. This one will be coming out soon, y'all. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Man, so tell them what we got going on over here, man. Cause All right, so. They keep asking me, what's up with the Viper Dunk? And I'm like, man. So it is what it is. The Viper Dunk is gone. I have fully convinced my man to take the Viper idea out the equation. So you know what that means. He going to come hang with the big boys. We going turbo LS donk killer, okay? Ugh. Big motor, big turbo, big upgrades in the transmission, big upgrades in the rear, and we plan on doing something a little bit sneakier than a lot of people haven't noticed yet. First in the world to take the 28 by 12s and tuck them. 28 by 12s and tuck them. They say it can only be done on a hard top, can't be done on a convertible. We're gonna be the try, we're gonna try our best, because you still wanna come out to be the first on 28 tuck with a functioning roof. I yes. gotta put that in there because a lot of people will come out with the twenty eight by twelve. Yeah, right. And the roof don't work. The roof don't so you work. You gotta put them little and little hoods and little jabs in there. Yeah. First on twenty eight by twelves with functioning roof, fully fully open, fully closed. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, I see this twin turbo project. It came a long way. It came from many hands. 
Many hands. But now, he's touching these hands. Ha <laughs> <laughs> And you know what time it is. Yeah. You touch these hands, you're going to make some power. Power. And we're going to hook up the AC, because that's one thing I did know. That's the first thing I noticed. Oh, All no. that AC yeah. attachment, it ain't hooked up yet. So that's going on there. Yeah, definitely need the AC. But if you know this car from back then, man, just looking at the hood where it's at now, it's a yep. totally different car. Yeah. Uh, runs totally different. Sounds totally different. Uh, power in, in power inlet on it. It's right. totally different from what it was. So, like I said, we ain't nowhere near a thousand on it yet, but like I said, we'll, we'll let you see what this will do. We'll, we'll Stay do tuned. Shit. Stay tuned.